Hi all, and uh, thanks for watching another episode of Technology Lowdown. So today I am actually going to uh, share with you something a little bit different. Normally I run you through something uh, using the computer, but what I'm actually going to talk about today is um, the UHF radios that I own. So I've used UHF radios um, frequently throughout uh, the types of work I've done. In my past I have been involved in uh, audio production and video production and with that you often need to communicate with those around you and one of the ways in which you can do that is you can either use a cams headset which is um, uh, if that's supplied then that's the by far probably the preferred method for communicating in a production environment but if you're out and about sometimes you need to communicate using a uh, UHF radio which is also known as a citizen's band in uh, some countries um, it's known as as a uh, citizen's band in Australia as well um, uh, it previously was 40 channels now it is 80 channels in Australia basically they've just uh, narrowed the, uh, made the frequencies a bit narrower so that there is now more space for everyone. Um, 40 channel radios is still in use but 80 channels is now the new standard. So um, yeah I've got uh, something to show you. Um, uh, basically I've got some high powered radios. In the past I've had these and I've just um, yeah, they've come with a three year warranty which has been great but then they've just died after a year and a half or so <laughs> and it turns out most of the time it's the battery that goes and because I live in a hot humid environment um, it's quite challenging keeping things so that they last um, a long time in the type of environment that I live in so one of the solutions I've come up with is you can either um, buy a Pelican box which is great so if you've got the money to buy a Pelican box then go ahead and buy a Pelican box and put all your radios in there but uh, for me I went down a cheaper option and I ended up finding a box at my local hardware store which is Bunnings in Australia um, and I've kitted out this box so it can store my UHF radios so basically this box it's about 50 centimeters wide by um, probably about 40 centimeters and then about 20 centimeters deep so this is just inside the box and what we've got here is um, we've got the lid uh, which is opened up at the top and it doesn't fall backwards so that's good it just stays upright and then we've got down the bottom here the storage area it's actually called a technician's box um, and you can get from Bunnings for about forty three dollars and then what I've got here is a whole heap of um, foam which quite often comes with the computer parts when you buy them and um, I've got uh, the charging docks for these radios stored in here I've got the radio stored and then if you have a look up the top here I've got some batteries stored and I've got the headsets up here and I've got a uh, CD with the driver there and the um, USB programming cable there for one of the radios so give you a bit further of a look inside here and um, so we've got some um, uh, charging docks here and the radios of course um, and there's the top alright this is uh, one of the radios I love it's a very cheap radio you can pick it up off eBay for about um, oh, usually for under $50 I'll just uh, see if I can find one here for you So yeah, the Bofang UV5R, um, for $35 in Australia though, you can get different skins for them, but these ones, you strictly need to be licensed for them, so you shouldn't actually have them in Australia unless you are licensed. Um, but for the purpose of this, I haven't actually really used it, and uh, it's just taking up space as far as I'm concerned. So the Bofang UV5R, it is um, programmable and that is what the uh, programming disk is for. Um, so it's worth about $35 and it's a great little radio. It's very powerful and you can get uh, additional aerials and uh, it's also VHF. Um, the reason I've got this radio is I was actually studying at one point to acquire an amateur's radio license but since I've been doing uni that's kind of went on the back burner but it is a, it is a uh, bit of an ambition of mine oh here's a picture it's upside down but uh, this is the other radio I've got it's a uh, 
Citizens Band UH uh, 750, which is by Unidin, and it is tradey tough. So it's designed to be dropped, um, almost driven over, and pretty much destroyed and still work. And it is an industrial quality radio, I tell you that. I've dropped it many times, and it just keeps working. <laughs> So these are those uh, little storage boxes at the top of that case, and I find they're great because you can store all your aerials separately, you can put your batteries in separate compartments, because one of the things with electronics, if you're not using it and the battery is connected to it, the battery can wear out quite quickly. So um, that is uh, the best way I've found to be able to store them so that they last as long as they can, and I've got the radio antennas there. Um, so the next box has the uh, headsets in it. It's also got a uh, driver disc there for the Bofeng UVR5 radio, so you can program it using a computer rather than doing it manually. So the other great thing is I can carry this case. So um, yeah, I hope that this has kind of helped you in uh, understanding one of the ways that you can store your UHF radios because uh, when I've had them in the past, they've just ended up in a box with all the cables tangled up and then every time you want to use it, you have to undo that mess before you can use them. And if you don't look after things well by storing them as best as you can, you know, they just start to deteriorate and then uh, the radios, which some cost, you know, $200 upwards, um, they just end up uh, getting destroyed. So, yeah, hopefully that's given you some ideas on how you can store your UHF radios, especially if you've got quite a number of them. If you've only got like one, then you could probably just pick up a um, Pelican-like case from one of the auto places such as Super Cheap Auto. They generally have them for about under um, $30, and you can just pull out the bits of foam and then you can store your radio in there. So I hope this, this video has been helpful to you. If you uh, like it, please like it. Or if you'd like to see more, um, maybe watch a couple of my other videos first. And subscribe if you like. Thank you.